What's up, savvy expats? In this video, we're getting a peek at where the top 1% of the Philippines live. All right, without wasting time, let's get into it. So kicking off this list with the most expensive gated village in the country, we have Das Marinas in Makati. Das Marinas, also called Dasma, is a gated community and private village in Makati city, just outside of Bonifacio Global City. And the average price per square meter for a lot in Dasma costs 450,000 pesos per square meter, or $9,000 per 10 square feet. Pretty exorbitant, huh? It's not to our surprise that residential real estate like this in Manila can cost this much. Because as you know, just like New York, Manila is congested. So to have your own plot of land practically in a city is going to cost you big bucks. On a different note, some of you may be familiar with the posh residential area in Manila called Forbes Park. Forbes Park has long been considered the home of the Philippine elite. We're talking celebrities, billionaires, and politicians. But in 2012, Forbes Park lost the crown as the most expensive subdivision in the Philippines to Das Marinas Village. To put it into perspective, if you want to buy a 1,000 square meter lot in Das Marinas Village, be prepared to shell out at least 450 million pesos. In dollars in square feet, that's $9 million for 10,700 square feet of land. With those kind of prices, it's no wonder why Des Marinas has the highest land valuation in the entire country. Now, for the second most prestigious address in the Philippines, that goes to Forbes Park in Makati. Named after William Cameron Forbes, an American Governor General of the Philippines from 1909 to 1913, Forbes Park caters to the Philippines' ultra-rich families and individuals. We're talking a lot of old money families here. This exclusive and high-class subdivision is home to a number of not only foreign diplomats, politicians, and business tycoons, but also celebrities, one of them being Manny Pacquiao. Manny's quote-unquote zen-inspired luxury mansion sits on a 2,000 square meter lot with a mansion covering 1,525 square meters of that lot. The not-so-humble abode of Pac-Man houses five bedrooms, seven bathrooms, a pool, a spacious garden, and a four-car garage. Now here's the shocking part. This house is on the market for 2.3 billion pesos. Yes, that's right, billions with a big fat B. In dollars, that would roughly equate to $46 million. Sure, this house is overpriced because the man himself used to live in it, but that should tell you all you need to know about this subdivision. Needless to say, Forbes Park caters to the top 1% of the Philippines. Now as for the location, Forbes Park is wedged between the Makati Central Business District and Bonifacio. Global City. This is especially an ideal location for businessmen operating out of the two biggest business districts in Luzon, BGC, and Makati. So in this neighborhood, you'll find peace and quiet from the hustle and bustle of the city while still being close enough to enjoy all the metropolis has to offer. Local listing websites show that monthly leases in Forbes Park start at 600,000 pesos or $12,000 per month. If we're talking price per square meter, according to Lamundi.com, the median price for a house in Forbes Park stands at 400,000 pesos per square meter, or around $8,000 per 10 square feet. Talk about exorbitant. The best way I can describe Forbes Park to you guys is that it's the Beverly Hills of the Philippines. Moving on to the third wealthiest neighborhood in the Philippines, that is Urdaneta Village in Makati. You may be noticing a common theme here by now. All of these villages are in Makati. Don't worry, the next two will be in different cities, but because Makati is a wealthy area, this is not surprising. With it being one of the smallest neighborhoods in Makati, Urdaneta Village is an exclusive and private enclave solely for its residents. Urdaneta used to be a joint neighborhood with another prestigious village called Bel Air. Together, both villages were one going by the name of Beldaneta. Today, Urdaneta is a gated community home to affluent families and expats. In terms of location, it's conveniently located near Bonifacio Global City and the Makati Central Business District. And so for all of these villages we're showcasing, they enabled you to live a gated suburban lifestyle in the midst of a city. Now in terms of the price to buy a lot in Urdaneta, on average it's 320,000 pesos per square meter, or in dollars, $6,400 per 10 square feet. And lastly, what's especially stressed about Urdaneta Village is its exceptional security. Because it's a small and low density neighborhood, it places a high premium on the safety of its residents. 
So rest assured that round the clock security will give you constant peace of mind despite living in a relatively large city. Now for the fourth wealthiest neighborhood in the Philippines, that is Corinthian Gardens. Situated in one of the largest cities in the country, Corinthian Gardens is a comfortable residential subdivision. With a price of 300,000 pesos per square meter, Corinthian Gardens falls in the fourth most expensive village in the country. That's around $6,000 per 10 square feet. As for the location, this is a 80 hectare subdivision located in Ugong Norte, Quezon City. Not only is Quezon City the largest city in the metro, but it's also a highly urbanized and rapidly developing area. And so with all the hustle and bustle, Corinthian Gardens offers a luxurious escape amidst the populated city. Lastly, the subdivision offers a variety of amenities including pools, tennis and badminton courts, a soccer field, clubhouses, and playgrounds. Now for the fifth and final wealthiest neighborhood in the Philippines, that is Ayala Alabang in Muntinlupa. Ayala Alabang is one of the most private, expensive, and largest subdivisions in Manila. It's well known for its residential homes inside the village that boast contemporary style homes and well thought out interiors. It's also home to many local celebrities and businessmen. Last year, Ayala Alabang's property prices soared to an all-time high of 200,000 pesos per square meter during the pandemic. That's around $4,000 per 10 square feet. All in all, if you have the pockets for it and are looking for residential suburban type living to raise a family, Alabang is the place. Being 20 minutes away from the major cities of Manila, you're not hassled with the crowds and congestion. Instead, you get peaceful suburban living combined with urban convenience. Due to Alabang's close proximity to BGC and Makati, it's a highly sought after community to reside in. The prime location, first class facilities, accessibility, and exclusivity all make it an ideal place to live in. Not to mention, you have everything you need in the area. For one, you have the Alabang Town Center, which is a Mediterranean inspired mall. Then you also have the Ayala Alabang Country Club, which has a variety of facilities, such as an 18 hole golf course, a driving range, swimming pools, dining banquets, and much more. All in all, Ayala Alabang is without a doubt one of the top places for safety, raising a family, schools, convenience, and suburban living. So there you have it, Savvy Expats. Those are the top five wealthiest neighborhoods in the Philippines. A couple honorable mentions is San Lorenzo Village and Bel Air Village in Makati. If you found any value in this video, a like and subscribe would be greatly appreciated. And so thank you for watching, Savvy Expats, and I'll see you in the next video. God bless.